Okay, so as Thanksgiving approaches, there are a few things that need to be said. You must always be safe in the kitchen. Being safe in the kitchen means properly using a knife, no goofing off, not touching the hot burners. Those are the common sense ones. You know, have an adult present with you if you're a child. However, a lot of adults forget the ones that aren't so common. When you know you're going to be using your oven for a very long time, you want to make sure that your oven is clean. Now I start cooking my turkey the day before Thanksgiving, which means either Monday or Tuesday, I clean my oven. When I say cleaning the stove, I don't mean just the top. That you should be doing every day. You should be cleaning the top of your stove every day. A lot of ovens have this setting called clean. You hit that and you punch in the amount of time. Now it's in hours that you want it to clean. And it locks your door and it turns your oven on. And it will incinerate whatever grease is in your oven. And when you're done, you want to sweep it out. You also want to make sure that you clean as much of the grease out of your vent as you can. Now it's almost impossible to get it all out. And when your oven starts heating up while it's cooking, you want to turn your vent on. The way that ovens are designed with their clean mode, it traps the oxygen out. So yes, it'll turn into ash, but it will not catch on fire and it is perfectly safe. Just don't put anything on the oven that can melt. I made that mistake once. Now most times, people think cleaning for Thanksgiving means cleaning the house because company is coming over. Please pardon my dog, she's just playing with my child. Um, they think that cleaning for Thanksgiving means you're going to clean the house because you're having people over. But you don't want to forget the important things that'll help keep you safe and healthy and not get you sick and not get you sick on Thanksgiving. Like if you're going to use your sink to thaw your frozen turkey out. <laughs> if you're gonna use your sink to thaw your turkey out, you wanna make sure that you clean the sink ahead of time. Even if you clean the sink every day, even if you keep your sink clean regardless, you wanna go in there with a disinfectant and you want to disinfect your sink before you put your turkey in. I go through and I clean my sink with bleach, then I use dish soap, and then I bleach it up again and use dish soap again. And then I put my turkey in it. Now I pull my turkey to thaw Monday or Tuesday. I make my stuffing on Wednesday night after supper. I stuff the bird, I stick it in the oven at a low temperature, and I cook it overnight. Now I will be videotaping the progress of the turkey for those of you who want to learn how to make a nice oven roasted turkey for dinner. Um, I don't deep fry my turkey. I know a lot of people do. But you want to remember, for safety reasons, if you're deep frying your turkey, deep fry it outside. Now it's not too late to clean your oven and still have time to cook your bird. And it's not too late to clean your sink out and still cook your bird. So if you haven't done it already, don't worry. You still have time, just get it done and you'll be fine.